boom we are back with another video we'll be going over tesla stock ticker symbol tsla when i want to go all in on tesla stock by the way because once it breaks that level on the above side i think it's really going to push up also you have to know tesla stock is in a wide range and it really has no direction ever since we had this drop right here off of earnings from when was the earnings date july 23rd tesla has done nothing it dropped down went up dropped down went up dropped down went up so there's really no direction yet on tesla so there's also two major levels we must watch to see if tesla is going to break out of those levels that's going to let us know where tesla wants to go we're also going to go over lucid in here we're going to go over neo as well and we're going to go over rivian as well i'll give you all levels on those this is kind of like your auto ish electric ish type of video okay we're also going to go over news with the australian elon remember when you have somebody like elon he's always going to be in news and also some people saying what type of company tesla really is instead of just autos okay so smash that like button subscribe if you're new also this tiktok right here this is my only tiktok by the way make sure y'all follow it it's will knowledge no extra letters no extra anything okay make sure it's the right one the followers the likes the following everything okay this is my real one all these are fake so this one right here fake this one fake this one fake this one fake you see how the words though they have two e's here they have three l's y'all have to really pay attention so y'all do not get scammed there look at this two e's there three two i's here make sure you pay close attention this one has two w's these are all fake ones this is a fake one with the dot that's not me that's fake all these are fake okay this one it says ledges not lodge it has an s on it that's all fake so make sure you're careful Make sure you know this is my only TikTok. It's spelled exactly will knowledge. Okay. No extra nothing, no dots, no nothing. This is me. Okay. So don't get scammed. So now let's go ahead and go over to Tesla stock. So the thing I'm watching is 260. This is what I want to go heavy on like a new set of swing shares and also a set of call options, right? But that's once it breaks 270. We are kind of far from that. We're right around 230, by the way. So it has a long way to kind of get up to that 260. Also, within a month, pretty much, exactly a month, today's September 6th, well, 13th, but October 16th, we have the next earnings for Tesla stock. The last earnings, we had a big drop. Now, will that next earnings have that secondary big drop or not? So you want to mark that out. The closer we get to that, there's probably going to be some big movement around that earnings, depending on what happens. OK, the current resistance levels and support levels, 230 resistance on Tesla. If you go down to the five minute chart, you can see how that resistance acts today. We tried to push above it. Let me show you all the one minute chart. We tried to push above it, but it quickly came right back down, ran up, hit it again, ran up here, hit it again. And then it kind of broke down. So I would say still watch that 230 area. That's like a shorter term resistance. If we break that, then Tesla's going up to about 240 to 245. On the higher side that's a potential then we have support at 213 and 207.50 this is why i say tesla is just very stalled in here and there's really not much to do a tesla stock right now i know there's a lot of eyes on it but if we don't break these levels you don't really have clean direction which means you really don't know what to play upside or downside i am technically still bearish on tesla we've been going down on tesla ever since about july of 2023 we've tried to go up here we came back down tried to go up then we tried to go up here, but we came right back down. So technically, uh, Tesla is still in bearish territory unless we really start breaking above 260. And once we start breaking above 260, I think that's going to take us closer to 300 to 290s. Um, not really the all time highs. Actually, Tesla has been bearish since 2021. We've been going down ever since. Right. So it's getting out of uh, lower prices. But I think if, when it breaks 260, that might be able to take us to 300, which is when I plan on going heavy on a Tesla. But in between these ranges, I'm kind of just being patient, trying to see what Tesla wants to do. Now, before we go over some more stuff, as y'all know, Elon Musk, um, there's some stuff with Australia and the labor government and all this stuff. They're just saying if social media companies could face fines up to 5% of their global revenue, which is crazy, by the way, if they enable the spread of misinformation. Y'all know Elon, he owns Twitter. Well, X. So that's going on. Also, the Brazilian stuff going on. Also, him and uh, Camilla, him and uh, Trump. All that stuff is kind of going on, as y'all know. But also, they're saying that you don't really look at Tesla as an automaker company. You look at it more as a technology platform. They're doing so much stuff, especially if they get good with the AIs. They're doing so much stuff. It's more than just 
an automaker company, unless he like splits it up, which I doubt it, he'll probably keep other everything under that Tesla umbrella. And some people gave it like a 295 target, which I don't think is bad, but we got to get out that range that we're in right now, right? So this is kind of true. It is more than just an automaker company. That's how I look at it. And the valuation has to uh, pretty much, the valuation pretty much has to show that it's more than an automaker. So I don't really look at it as a automaker company. I look at it as more than that, okay? I also need to go over some Ubers and stuff. Any stocks y'all want me to go over, make sure you comment it down below. Go over some uh, different stocks. But yeah, so that's why I'm kind of looking out for Tesla. When I want to buy heavy, I do have Tesla, by the way. It is my number one holding. I think that might change with these two other stocks that I'm looking to buy heavy. If y'all want to know that, just make sure you join the team. Prices go up on Monday, by the way. But these are the two levels I'm watching out for mostly. I just don't want to get trapped in this range because we're really not going anywhere. So right, say you try to get swing calls. And then it crashes the next day. You try to get swing puts and it goes up the next day. You're more likely to lose in this range than win if you're trying to do swings. Now, scalping, you can scalp, but swings are just not that optimal. So if you're looking to buy Tesla, invest in Tesla like I am, I'm, I'm still looking to buy some more. I'm trying to be patient and wait to see what level it breaks out of. And then I can know for sure of where I want to play it upside or that downside. OK, and if Tesla breaks these supports, Tesla might go back down to like the 170s, 175. So that'd be really bad on Tesla, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm kind of watching out for. Let's go over Neo stock. We'll go over some levels. So Neo stock had resistance around 565. It literally ran up there, hit that perfect, fell down. We do have a smaller support on Neo stock. I would probably say right around like 520. You could watch that, see if that support holds. If it does hold and it starts pushing back up, you'll probably see Neo around six dollars. Okay. That's all I kind of see. It, it started pushing up off of their earnings. I think they came in and they kind of lost some revenue a little bit. They beat earnings by a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but I think they came out with some news. Uh, let's go over Rivian. Y'all know Rivian had that pop up. Um, I think it was from the investment from Volkswagen. That's why it had that pop up there. It tried to continue and then it came right back down. So it's not much to go over on Rivian. They do have support right here about 13, 15. If that breaks, that just means Rivian is pretty much done with the downside and you're probably going to see more downside. Uh, I mean, pretty much done with the upside. And you'll probably see more downside Rivian because the money that they got from Volkswagen, I think that only helps them survive for like one more year. So it's not that crazy. And that's probably one they're, why they're going back down because people start realizing that. OK, also, let's go over Lucid. Lucid, nice trajectory, I would say, trying to continuous up movement. Right. We just had that secondary pull down. So this is not a bad range to take it to like 470 ish or so. But I would say if it breaks this resistance level right here, right around 420. But now will probably take it to 470. The only thing is, it's not that big of a gain that I would like. It's only like 11%. But that could be a nice 10% gainer if it broke that resistance to go up there. That's pretty much the only thing I see on Rivian. I mean, uh, on Lucid stock right now. So just added some after Tesla. Thank you guys for watching the video. We did do a couple plays today. We did Will Knowledge, Microsoft calls. Uh, we got about 18% gain on those. And then we did IWM calls, and that went all the way up to 30%, right? It only took us about 30 minutes for these plays. Say you put $1,000 each play, you'll probably be up $300, $400. Make sure you join the team. Prices go up Monday. And whenever you join, you get access to the private live streams where we do all this live, right? I let you guys know what I'm looking at, where I'm looking to enter, all that good stuff. And also try to teach you to become a monster, which is the main thing. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Make sure it's the right one also. Um, uh, and yeah, always remember no recommendation of ours. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one.